What's up, family? It's Jamar here to get a sauce to y'all. Welcome back to my channel again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the rod and the staff in Psalms 23 and 4. Now, growing up, I've heard this passage plenty of times. I'm pretty sure most of you guys heard this passage before and even thought to yourself, like, what does this mean? Your, your rod and your staff comforts me. Like, how does it comfort me? Me, personally... <laughs> I was wondering, this, I was really wondering like, Lord, you know, I love you, Jesus. I want to know more about this ride and this staff. Like, I want to know, I don't want to read this scripture and not mean it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm reading it, I want to mean it when I'm reading it. I want to mean exactly what I'm, what I'm reading. So I did some research on the ride and the staff, right? So this is Psalms 23 and 4. Um, I'm on a website called Hope for Israel. Um, So this is what how they explain what the staff and what the rod is talking about. What is David talking about? And he says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me, right? So this is what David is talking about. It says, let me see. They say, my previous writings on this verse explore God's everlasting presence with us. We need not fear anything. Continuing with this, we can learn something very interesting about David's analogy of God and his shepherd, right? The second part of the verse, your rod and your staff, they comfort me, makes a connection between discipline and grace. It says there are a few ways to translate the words rod and staff from the Hebrew, which will give us a deeper understanding of the meaning of this verse. Rod. They got a Hebrew word there for it. Um, I'm going to drop it down somewhere down here. You guys should be able to see it in the video. It says, can refer to a scepter that shows power and authority. It can also be used as a stick to hit someone or something, as well as to discipline someone. The other interesting meaning of the word shivet can be derived from a group of families tribe uh, with one father over them. So a tribe with one father over them. And then a staff, it's way right here for it, all right? And it says it's a stick that one leans on, right? God's rod reminds us of his authority over all dominions and powers. It is used to help us stay on the path or to get back to the path that he has for us. Sometimes it is used to discipline us and exhort us to move forward. All right, so let's see, exhorts us to move forward. On the other hand, it is also for our protection. God protects us from wolves and other harmful things that may want to attack us and devour us, figuratively speaking. Yet his staff is also there for us to lean on, to rest, and to find peace. All right, so basically what is what I've learned from this is the rod and the staff, right? So when you look at a rod, shepherds had the rods to beat off like um, wolves, like the this... Um, <laughs> this website's talking about the uh the rod is used to beat off like or like keep wolves and stuff away at bay from the sheep because we as children of the most high we're sheep and he's our shepherd. So he uses a rod to protect us and the staff is to guide us in the way that we should go. And so those two things should make us feel comfort knowing that we're protected and that we're guided by the hands of the Almighty, which is Jesus Christ, our shepherd, you know? So that's just real quick for y'all. That's another little video for y'all because I always wonder what it mean by your ride and your staff. They comfort me. So now I feel more comfort within uh, learning this. Hopefully you guys feel more comfort too. Love you all. Be blessed. Talk to you soon.